Hi everybody, welcome to our new video. Today we're gonna show you how to connect your uh, reverse osmosis drinking water purifier to your pipes. So we've done already what they call the plumbing part. Uh, that's something which you're going to do yourself, but I'm gonna show you how it works, everything. Uh, look, uh, they've been here, we've been doing plumbing and stuff, you know, they can call you, go to a client, you do this, but sometimes some clients, they ask, you know, I can do it myself. Can you show me so what we do when you read the client we do the new client you do a video after and uh, you connect everything then you send that video to a client or you tell him go to the to youtube and see one of our videos so this machine uh first of all you must have uh, a tap where you're gonna connect that a, a water supply where it's gonna get water it comes with if you can look into or if you can watch one of our videos there it comes with uh, what they call uh, these pipes, all these white pipes, they come with it. So this pipe and this stopper, it comes with the machine. So since it comes with the machine, uh, we on, on also this comes with the machine. So what we did, we only bought this to stop here and also we bought some connectors here to connect to the pipe. So I can't show you outside, it's at night, this job, we done it at night. So we did connect this pipe. This pipe brings water here. That water, it's uh, water from the tap. So that's why also if you have a water pump, that's when you're gonna use the water pump here to do all that, you get me? So this is what gonna happen now. So for now, what we're gonna do, we wanted to see if it's leaking or it's not leaking. I don't see any much of leakages here. Uh, so you, I'm gonna open this stopper. Uh, when I open it, see uh, yeah when you open it I'll, I'll get water here you can see so I'm messing up the place everywhere so the water has pressure so pressure matters uh, so I've wet have made myself wet I'm gonna hold it here and uh, open water you can see the pressure is too much I even didn't open much so once you get your pipe which gives you water what you do is you take out the pipe where and you bring it this side you connect it here you see you push it in here this is the this is where water goes in you can push it in here push in like harder it's gonna reach to the point you feel like yes can't go in anymore so once you put in this is the Port which takes um, a connector which takes water in. Even if you take it out, it won't take out. Unless if you want to take it out, you just press this small thing like this. You press it out, then you take the pipe out, and it won't link. So that's why they make it. It can't leak this one. Okay, doesn't need a lot of energy. But then this uh, pressure should be at least starting from thirty. Or maybe 40 to upwards but if you don't have pressure here the machine won't work so if it won't work you you will think that the machine does not work the machine is working 100% but needs some there's some minimal pressure it needs uh, so and also the maximum pressure it needs so now once you're done with that this machine doesn't have what they call uh, I would say what they call a switch this machine is just simple it has some uh, stuff here uh, the something like you see this is like a charger which is uh, it runs it gets uh, it has a cable which we're gonna connect to electricity so once you connect the machine to electricity it's gonna start working straight so let me put the camera here uh, guys I'm coming I wanna get one of the uh, getting I don't have a tank now because this is a new plant uh, I'm gonna wash one of the bottles here where we're gonna put water. Okay, I'm washing it here. I'm gonna show you uh, what we're gonna do and how fast is the machine. So, you know, they encourage you to buy a water tank because whenever you need water, you don't have to rely on a machine. Already, maybe somebody can say, I need 4,000 liters, which you don't have. This 400 uh what is they call it 400 gpt something like that it gives 4000 liters a, a day 
You get me? So now someone wants water, wants 2,000 liters. You cannot do that now. So what will happen to you? So you need a tank. You need a water tank, but if you don't have it, this is what you're going to do. You can also connect to the tap every time you do, you connect it. So this cable here, this, this pipe here, on your, what they call on your uh, left-hand side, this pipe, you can see. You can see, even see the arrow said flow. So this pipe here is going to help you to take water from, from what? From, that's the pure water. So we're going to put that pure water into this okay we're gonna put it in here that's where we're gonna get our pure water so there's another pipe which i'm gonna show you this pipe this pipe is the one for drainage so since it's for the drainage we run it and put it somewhere we're gonna drain this water so that's gonna bring you what they call dirty water not clean water so i'm gonna put it in here so i'm gonna start running the machine how do i run the machine uh is by Yes, we saw the drainage pipe and also the one which is going to give us clean water. The one for clean water, you can see, put it in here. We're going to see how fast is the machine. And also I'm going to show you the pressure when it starts. So what do we need to do on it to connect this to power? So once you connect to power, the machine does not need any switch on. Once you connect to power, it's going to start. As long as you open the water that side. I'm going to connect it into power now for you guys. Uh, this is the place I'm going to connect to power. Okay, it's in. You don't need to do anything after that. Put that down. I'm going to drop it down. So the next step to do is to switch on my water on the wall. I'm going to do this. Yeah, I've done that. And now you can hear the machine. You can see the pressure is going up. This has good pressure. You can see it has very good pressure. So the pressure sits up there. You can see uh, almost 100 and something. You can see. So the pressure is good. So now we're getting our pure water here. You can see it's coming in. This is the pure water we're getting. You can see. So since we have pure water there, let's check what they call the dirty water. Yeah, dirty water you can see also it doesn't, it's not the same as pure water. So it doesn't look that, that hundred percent white. But since we're getting from municipal water, which is already also clean. So this one is the one which is dirty. So. The dirty water I put it here and you can see it's not that hundred percent clean as we see so we put it there so this we wait for this to get full so imagine somebody ask you four thousand liters uh, which you cannot rely on this so what's what we are uh, encouraged is to buy a big uh, tank whereby you can put this and leave the machine on you will know the machine how many uh, liters it does it makes uh, produces every hour so you know if it's 20 hours maybe I need a big whatever tank so it doesn't have a switch whereby you're gonna say if something is full it's gonna stop it won't stop so what's gonna happen to you it's gonna throw out water everywhere so that's why we say you have to monitor this for now you get me so uh, I'm gonna monitor this it's something like five liter is it three liter five liter something like that I will see but it's like maybe five liters something like that so but it's a little bit faster this water you can see it's faster it's getting it's giving you this water kind of water so we have already maybe a liter or two already this could be one two three liters something like that you get me so but let's see how it's gonna end So the pressure is good for this water so if the pressure is not good as we told you the machine won't work so you can see that maybe the compressor or whatever that machine uh, so to service this water you have to do they give you instructions here you at least it can you can service it after a year but i think it depends on how many liters you make uh let me see you can see they say after 25,500 gallons, which is 
9,463 liters. So if you can do this uh, before a year, so it means you can, you have to service your, your what? Your machine. Get me? So it's getting there, guys. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. Five liter old four liters is already full guys. So what do we do? I'm gonna stop the tap on the wall. Uh then we see. So I'm gonna stop the tap here. I've stopped the tap. So there's no pressure coming in. So the pressure is dropping. You can see the pressure is dropping, it's dropping, it's dropping. So the machine switches off. Once you switch off water connection, the machine is going to switch off automatically and you're not going to get any water anymore. So guys, I hope that video is helpful to you. And uh, if it is, uh, please leave a comment, box in the, a comment in, the, in the comment box below. And if you want to know something else, also you can contact us. So don't forget to take out also the machine from power uh, because it doesn't have what they call. But to switch off the machine just is to switch on switch off the water supply that's all but since it doesn't have what they call um uh I would, I would call it what since it doesn't have what we call a switch so you can take it out of power thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video